Hello, Nick Robinson. Hey, Phil. Does this look familiar to you? It looks extremely familiar. Oh, it should look familiar because uh, this this might be a little bit of a video where you're in it. Oh, uh, my we're God. playing Splatoon here. Um, this is out on the Wii U this week. Uh, Friday it comes out. Our review is up on the site on Polygon.com right sure now. Is. I wrote that review. Um, very proud of it. Brilliant review. Brilliant good, stuff. Good job, Phil. Uh, but. Nick, you've been playing a ton of this game, I have. Uh, as have I, um, so I actually played quite a bit of the multiplayer alongside you, um, and this is one of the matches we played. Splatoon is a, a third-person uh, shooter? You're shooting. I, you you know, shooter? I, you're shooting. I mean, you know, Ben Kuchera is not going to be I happy know. if you I know. I read, shooter, I read but... that article, but yeah, you, I see you shooting. You're shooting ink. Um, but it's it's less about killing people and more about you're, you're, you're trying to cover as much of the the arena with your color as possible. And, uh, oh, what's yeah. this? Whoa. Oh, can we see a repeat? Can we just... Oh, see like man. A... Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's... Oh, feels Who's good. That? Feels good. Dang. Oh, mmm. This ah, is the yeah. most editing work I've ever seen you put into a video. <laughs> and the most you ever will see me put into a video <laughs> until another multiplayer game comes out that we mm. both play and I kill you in it. Uh... But no, this is so. You know, I'm I'm excited that I killed you. I was really stoked about that. But yes. then I died there. Uh, but that is not the real goal in Splatoon. No. The goal is we're trying to cover as much as we can. Um, you're gonna see here in the end game scenario, they're going to uh, they're gonna show us the map. You get an right. overhead view there. That overhead view is on your your uh, gamepad at all times, mm -hmm. so you can kind of have a sense of how things are going at all times. Um, yeah. It looks like on my team I had two people with golden weapons, so they're probably pretty good. They prestiged or whatever. Is there yeah, does prestiging know. exist or in this game? Person. I don't know. I don't know if it does. <laughs> probably. Um, there is like a leveling up system, and you unlock new weapons. I like that you have a backwards uh, cap, so I know that you're a team. You're a cool team. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I'm showing here the the weapon unlocking shop here. You take these coins that you earn, and you can unlock weapons. You can unlock all of these uh, uh, hats, shirts, and shoes as well, and um, those each level up as well and give you special bonuses um so here i'm do showing off a little bit of the splat roller which is one of the most interesting items in the game for sure i'm not per i'm not particularly good with it in this video this is the first time i was using it but uh how are you with the splat roller? i like it i don't it, it seems like it, to put it in terms of like another team-based shooter it's a very it's very much a support role not for yeah, other so, like uh, players necessarily but you're not like I don't think it's awesome in direct combat, and it's funny because when that test fire happened that Nintendo did, like, people only got to play for an hour, but you could see people, like, I saw a lot of people on Twitter freaking out saying the paint roller was overpowered, and, like, no, not even it's close. It's super not. Like, look at that. You, yeah. It's it's really hard to take take on any enemy who has any amount of distance. Yeah, which is everyone um, else. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the cool things you can do when you respawn there is you can jump right to an enemy. You taught me that trick. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, the the... You're 100% right, and the actual, the game I'm playing in right now, my team has three people using the paint roller, which is not great. You really don't want that. You really want one or two max. I think two paint um, rollers feels pretty, pretty solid. Like, yeah. And when you're using the paint roller, it also feels really crucial to me that, like, in instead of staying in combat, it's just really, I, I think it's important with every class to look at the mini-map, but with the paint roller in particular, like, you... To use it successfully, you need to be looking like where could I be making the biggest difference in territory yeah, right now. More than any other class, like your goal really is just like fill out as much of the mm -hmm. the territory as you can, um, which I'm not terribly good at here. Uh, there are a few other weapons. There's a there's a sort of long range rifle that you can charge. Mm -hmm. um, you have favorites there's... yet? Like what, what were the ones that really stood out to you this time with it? Honestly, the one that I got the most use out of and did the best with was just the um, the initial. Splatter shot and the sort of like splatter shot junior or whatever. I'm a big splatter shot um, junior man myself. Yeah, and it's uh, th those are just sort of basic machine gun style. Mm -hmm. Um, I I want to spend more time with some of the other stuff. There were certainly some weapons later on that I have not unlocked yet. Yeah. Um, so there's lots of stuff that I I need to check out. Um, it seems like eventually what you start getting is is weapons that um like you can get other versions of the splat roller that look different but operate basically the same yeah i think um, I, but they might come with different grenades or different specials right so there i tried to whip out my special which is like a shoots a giant wall of sound yeah uh, what and uh the whale the killer whale the, i believe that's called yeah i think that's what it is 
Um, and now I switched over to single player here to show this off because this isn't, despite what Nintendo wants you to believe, this is not just a multiplayer game. No. And uh, the single player is actually pretty rad. I'm glad you agree because I, I came away from my first time playing the single player and my time with the like review build of the game, kind of like looking around, being like, is it just me or is this is like one of the most like a, a very solid single player Nintendo game? And I think it's it is really good. It's uh, it's it's quite good. Um, so. What, what you're seeing here is this is just one of the levels where I think it really illustrates what the game does so well, yeah. which is it takes these, like 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 a Mario game, each level is built around a core concept, mm -hmm. um, and in this case, in this level, the concept is uh, these sponges yeah. that you can make bigger by shooting with paint, they're going to get smaller with enemy paint, you saw it started with sponges just out in the ground, now they're free floating and I have to kind of squid my way up them. You do, that's the main verb in this game. You squid different places, you squid your opponents. Mm -hmm. Squid these squid these kids. Uh, I mean, that's honestly one of the things to get used to in the game, like coming at it, you know, thinking of it as a shooter. Mm -hmm. You do have to get used to like jumping into the ink and hiding. Yes. Like that's one of the huge things in the game, um, both in single player and multiplayer. It's something um, I, I actually kind of hope, because you know how like Nintendo said very vocally, like, hey, we're going to be adding more maps to this game on a pretty regular basis for free for a while after release. Um, yeah. I would love to see them incorporate some of these yes. single-player elements, like these sponges. I, or the, uh, the. I almost wrote that in my review word for word. Like, yeah. I 100% agree. Like There are a lot of thing, cool things that they add in single-player, like sponges, like the there ink are platforms. Rails. The ink rails. There's ink rails. Great. There's platforms that activate based on um, you shooting them with ink and then, like, shift up and down. Mm -hmm. um, there's all this stuff that, like, I would love to see those in multiplayer maps. And one of my few complaints about the game is that I do think the multiplayer maps... Oh, what, what am I doing? Uh, I think the multiplayer maps don't feel uh, that different. I, yeah, I, I kind of agree. And I also feel like there's not a huge number of them. Like, uh, there's there's sort of a pretty small... Oh, this is this is pretty intense. Because now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when these guys, when their paint touches your uh, sponges, they shrink. So you have no platform to stand on if they hit it too many times, which is terrifying. Um, yeah, I really I really do hope they expand just the, the quantity and the variety of the maps, for sure. Like, there's a really great single-player level that's basically the Unfinished Swan, where there are whole segments of the level that are invisible until you paint them. I would love a yeah. multiplayer map built around that concept, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, uh, I, I, I mean, yeah, I, I'm really happy with the game overall, but I do think there are ways to, to improve like that. Another weird thing about the multiplayer is that you can only use two specific... It's two maps per day that rotate in and out. Yeah, and you know what's weird? I Maybe it's different because we are sort of in this like weird rev test review environment, but I noticed that the, the maps themselves were switching out what actually felt like a few, every couple hours almost, but who can say oh, why that was happening? Yeah, um, that might have been because of the review, because the review copies were on a separate servers. Um, yeah. We just got retail copies in and... and not a lot of people are playing them yet, so I haven't had a good chance to test them yet. If you go look at the review right now on Polygon, um, as of the time this video went up, it's it's a provisional review, which means we will mm -hmm. be updating it um, once we make sure, essentially, that the, the game functions well on live servers, um, since we didn't get to test it on the live servers. Which is, which, uh, with a Nintendo multiplayer game, kind of a serious concern. Like, I, I'm, it seemed sure. okay in the test fire for the most part, except for a few drops, and it's really hard to judge it based off the review build because there's so few players in the pool. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm rooting for it. So those, that little thing I caught there at the end is a zapfish. That's what you're collecting in the game. That's the stars, if this were a Mario game. Right. Um, I also wanted to show off a boss battle. So this is the boss of World 3. Mm -hmm. Um... The boss battles are, are really cool as well. And again, very Mario-esque, very, like, you figure out a pattern, um, you have to hit them three times, essentially. Um, except for the final boss, you have to hit a lot more times than that, and mm. the final boss is incredible. Um, but I'll save that for later in the week. Uh, but you can see, I'm. this is basically this weird clam thing that spews purple paint everywhere. Um, and I'm trying to figure out... How am I gonna how am I gonna take care of this thing? I can kinda turn into a squid to avoid it when it comes rushing at me. Right. But that's nothing's hurting it. I love this fight. Uh, mm -hmm. and then here I realized as he as he went past me that time, I'm like, oh, he's kinda sinking in to mm -hmm. my ink when he goes by it. So maybe there's a way to uh, to use that to my yep. benefit. It's such a good Nintendo boss fight structure. There's the moment of realization, there's the escalation, yeah. there's kind of the, the rule of threes where you have to kinda get him three times. It's it, yeah. These feel I, like I, Mario bosses in a really good way. Yeah, and I caught a teensy, teensy bit out of this just of me, like, trying to figure out what's ha what, what I was supposed to do and failing. Mm -hmm. But 
generally, like, it's it didn't take me much longer than what you're seeing here. And Look at that. It's, it just happens in a very natural way. And now you see, yeah, they up the stakes by suddenly the platforms are moving. Right. Um, so it's like, okay, I need to account for that as I am uh, as I'm spraying the ground here and trying to get him trapped. It almost starts feeling like a Mario 64 like uh, Bowser fight with the way this this arena 100%. keeps shifting. Again, like the and and you get to some of the other bosses and the final boss in particular, it's 100% that comparison completely fits. Um, I also just love the design. Like, that guy looks ridiculous he does. in the best way. The first boss you so fight, good. which we have video of on Polygon, is, like, s almost frightening. <laughs> He's just this big, scary-faced cube, and the way you go about defeating him is, just like this one, very clever and makes a really good use of the paint locomotion mechanics. And, I, I mean, that's something we actually haven't talked about much, which is, I, I don't know if you agree, but I feel like moving around in Splatoon feels awesome. Like, the whole Absolutely. experience of moving is just so polished and so good. All right, so here we have uh, now not only is the platforms moving, but there there are sections that I cannot yeah glass um, paint will not or the ink will not stick to glass. Mm -hmm. um, so this is going to be a little trickier. It's going to require the the perfect finding the perfect route here. Um, but yeah, I completely agree with you. The movement feels incredible when you're. When you're in the ink, it feels really good, and you're able to, to like do these really cool long jumps. Um, and just in general, this is a really good game. I, I'm very impressed. I went in without a lot of expectations. Um, I hadn't played a lot of the preview stuff, and you know, all I knew about it is that it was new IP from Nintendo and that you shoot ink. But yep. turns out it's real good. I, turns out Nintendo can make good video games. It's so, it's so, I mean, like my experience was pretty much identical to yours where I saw it at E3 last year, but I never got hands on it. I'm like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's like D-Blob, I guess. It's It really came out of nowhere and kind of surprised me. I, I did not expect to love Splatoon the way I do.